we've spent the last few weeks talking about self-actualization. Now, as we discussed earlier, the architect behind self-actualization was Abraham Maslow. And Maslow came up with his hierarchy of needs, and at the very top of that pyramid was self-actualization. And with that, he came up with some ideas around what characteristics drive the most psychologically advanced people among us. And so I want to share those characteristics with you. And as I do that, I'd like you to start asking yourself how other people would describe you and if they would use these characteristics to do it. So let me start with number one, and that is that, that the most psychologically advanced among us are realistically oriented. Two, they accept themselves, other people, and the natural world for what they are. They have a great deal of spontaneity. They're problem-centered rather than self-centered. They have an air of detachment and a need for privacy. They're autonomous and independent. Their appreciation of people and things is fresh rather than stereotyped. Most of them have, a prof or have, have had a profound mystical or spiritual experience, although they're not necessarily religious. They identify with mankind. Their intimate relationships with a few specially loved people tend to be very profound and deeply emotional rather than superficial. Their values and attitudes are democratic. They don't confuse means with ends. Their sense of humor is philosophical rather than hostile. They have a great fund of creativeness and they resist conformity to culture. The final, number 16, is they transcend the environment rather than just coping with the environment. So I'd like you to think about the happiest people you know. And I would argue that that most of those people epitomize many or most of the characteristics that we just rattled off. The question you have to ask yourself is, how would other people that are very close to you see you? And would they describe you with these same characteristics? And as we went through these 16 different characteristics, which ones would you most like to have that you don't currently have? And those are the ones you want to focus on. So what I would ask you to do is over the course of the next week, identify one or two of these characteristics. Think about ways that you can align yourself with them so that somebody would describe you using those very same characteristics.